everyone, this is Zelda Maniac, and welcome to Resident Evil 2. Thank you, game. For this Let's Play, as you can see, I'll be playing Resident Evil 2. And I am only doing the canon run to Resident Evil 6, which is Claire A. Leon B. I did do a playthrough of Leon A for a psychology project, but that's a story for another day. Oh, let's go to Raccoon City. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Finally here. Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane! The radio's out! You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Ah! Oh god, the zombies can fly! Okay. Still in one piece. <gasps> hey, that maniac's gonna win! 
I don't ram people. I'll meet you there. Okay. We were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. College. I'm kidding. Well, mine was, but that's a different story. Anyway, welcome to Raccoon City. Population. That's zombies. And this is the original for PlayStation 1. I'm... I'm a broke college student, so I don't have the money for... the system it's on, or the game itself. I wouldn't mind it. Chip inventory. Okay, should be good. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. But don't you worry, girlie. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Hmm. Okay. Let's look around here, see if we can find some stuff. Oh, I found ammo. Yes. Nothing there. Broken. Paper dated September 18th. It looks irrelevant. Well, so much for keeping a close eye on things. You guys dead yet? Okay. He has stopped breathing. Oh, well, after an attack like that. Well. He's not gonna be using that anytime soon. What? He's dead. I don't think he's gonna come back wanting to shoot people. How much ammo do I have? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Usually takes me less. Oh yes, zombies in the playground. One of my favorite memories. We all shouldn't be ball when Shovel came. Shovel came. Oh go. In Raccoon City, where I was born and raised. Playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, hanging out, shooting some b ball hoops. Then one day, things got bad. Next thing you know, we're zombies around the fucking city. What the? Did that arm just. Okay. 
Okay. Um. I'm. I don't know what to say to that. And like Silent Hill, you have to click A to get downstairs. It is so annoying. The, but you'll get used to it after a while. Okay, you all kill. Come on, get, 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 get down. Get, 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 get down now. Oh, I just saw a porky pig. Oh, we're gonna have lots of fun. Oh, I'm already in caution. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely to see too. Quick, to the bus! Give a good need on the ammo we can get. Oh, shiz, is that ya? Smash your head. I'm really still going. And like I said back in Silent Hill, I'd die be playing a competitor. Resident Evil was. is. Between, well, back in the 90s, between Silent Hill and Resident Evil, it was more like a battle. Because Konami wanted to cash in on what Capcom had done with Resident Evil. Because Resident Evil came first. There's no sign of life. Nah, he looks alive to me. And I decided to go with number two because, well, I don't have the original Resident Evil. I I actually did have have it at one point. It was the dual shot version with the infamous clown or Jeep basement music. You know what I'm talking about. Da, 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 da. Crap 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 crap. I am not dying this early. Usually doesn't happen. Well, this is a great start. Thank God I know most of the item locations. Once a great while, I'll find something new. There's another one here. No, that's inside. Hmm, I'll take care of you guys later. Okay, now this is a really nice police station. Okay, I'm just gonna use this now, just so I don't have to watch your limp. And let's go over here. left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry, 
every last Star's team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other Star's members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. <sighs> Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Okay. 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 Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. All right, we'll be going back there for a while. Okay, we're definitely gonna need ammo. Ah, the ink ribbons. Okay, now in this game, you save by using an ink ri an ink ribbon on a typewriter. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Hell yeah. Now the game itself gives you a limited number of ink ribbons, so use them wisely. And don't be like dumb me back when I first played this and use them a lot. Plus the card, it reads Hall Electronic Lock. Okay. Yeah, we'll use the computer. Oh! It's- it's so 90s! It's so 90s it hurts! Yes. over here really quick. Okay, now like in Silent Hill, there are, me there are memos, but I won't read all of them, so, so I'll just flip the pages and you guys can just pause the video if you want to read them. Definitely gonna remember to stop there. This. Lockpick. I can unlock the simple locks with this. Use it. Yes. I'm using it now. My dumbass wasn't careful of the zombies. At first, I'm gonna backtrack a little. I'm gonna stop at that safe and see see what I can get from it. Oh, hello. See, this is fighting the police. 
They're just undead lice. See, I know you're playing dead. Would you crawl toward me? Is there anything here? No. Can we pick that up? Nope. Gonna shoot you diagonally. I'm not sure how this works. I, why did you just flop yourself toward me? God, we got zombies' arms coming off. We got people flopping all around. What is this? Oh, yes. Anything over here? Oh, he's still alive. Did not know that. There we go. Seen behind here. These are herbs, not weed. Now that I think about it, what, what state is Raccoon City in? Because for some reason, I always pictured it being Colorado. I mean, we know Silent Hill is in Maine, so I, I guess it would make sense for Raccoon City being Colorado. I mean, Midwest, mountains, it kind of sounds similar. Okay, we have some ammo for a future weapon and the map. I'll take care of them later. Alright, now we can press on forward. It's not. We plainly saw that. Too dark to see anything outside my ass. And yes, I have seen a good chunk of the remake that was made a few months ago. Well, I guess two. Oh. The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Here's a little funk back to here. Well, oh, we're. Oh, it's already cutting him off. I forgot about that. Um, I'll tell you more about this corpse a little later. After this. That was easy. Now let me tell you, this is a liquor. Yes, I shit you not, that is his name. This officer here, this, that is what twisted the head off. It was originally supposed to drop the head, but the animation was cut. But, but, if you use an out of bounds camera here, you can see the head floating in the corner of this room. Yes, I watch boundary break. It's actually quite interesting. Hmm, I gotta go in there yet. 
gonna wait till after I get a certain item. Oh, zombies everywhere. Hey, 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 hey. Back off, sister. The reason I chose PlayStation 1 is because... I, okay, I own the GameCube, Nintendo 64, and, well, duh, this version. The reason I chose this was mainly for the story because the N64 has ties to other games. I didn't want people getting confused, and the GameCube game is the same, but it, it kind of crashes on me a lot. Well, it, well, I mean, I, the game is playable, but I can't play it for long periods of time. Don't leave the dark room door open. Yeah, that's just common sense there. So that's so that's why I chose the this one. Oh, God, I'm tripping over my voice today. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, that will be it for for this episode. Next time on Resident Evil 2, we will explore more of the RPD area, and maybe we'll find something about Chris. See you guys then, and peace out.